Alright, I'm back with another mod, and this time it is Builders. Um, it adds like these uh, different type of builders, and they'll just build a whole bunch of random houses and structures. And you can have them make like a community, kind of. Um, the creator of the mod was saying on his forum, or on the Minecraft forum, that someone suggested that they should make a town and when more of the builders come that they can just keep building into the town and so once that comes out I think I'll make a video on how to install that one or just show you it at least but anyways this is builders go ahead and show you the mod first this one is fairly easy to install um, they need mostly flat ground to build I let them build for like an hour and they've just started building a whole bunch of stuff so as you can see they did a lot they did quite a bit of stuff in just like an hour and you can uh, tell them to build so let me go find one of these guys actually I think it needs to be on at least easy for them to spawn hold on I'm trying to find one if I don't find one here very right soon I'll just spawn one oh here we go Oh, that's just an explorer. He just explores around and all the lights you saw like these are from explorers. I'm trying to find a builder so I can have him build something. Is that a builder? I think these are all just explorers. I don't want an explorer. That's an explorer. Yeah, you can see that they do build a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, let me go to one of the trader shops. Uh, there's traders, and they'll make their own little shop. And then you could trade stuff. You can trade diamonds and gold and iron. Wait, is this a builder? Oh, yeah, here's a builder. Look, Nander's the cobble builder. Right now what he's doing is you can see he has a piece of paper in his hand and that's basically a blueprint and he's scanning the area to make sure he can build whatever he's thinking of building here. But if he doesn't build anything I could force him to build something by holding a piece of paper in my hand and left clicking on him. Let's just wait and see if he builds something first. Right, we'll come back to Nanders. Uh, here's some other structures. I actually make some cool stuff sometimes. Most of the time it's just kind of dumb stuff, but it's still interesting. They'll add random stuff into. Sometimes there'll be a chest and they'll have like gold armor or something in it. Yeah, here's the the trading shop trade one coal for seven flour all that stuff so like if I give him a diamond see he just gave me 14 soul sand give him gold he'll give me iron if I give him an iron he'll give me sticks so here's sticks here's the iron and then uh, the soul sand I think with the different Builders, they'll give you different things, or uh, different traders will give you different things. Here's a home seeker. If you have a gold ingot, or uh, just a gold, and you left click on him, I don't think it's going to work when he's building. Have you finish your house? Hurry up. You done? Okay, you're done. I think with the home seekers, yep. Now he's Hero the Trader. So if you have a gold 
Uh, if you have gold and you left click on them, it'll turn them into a trader. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't want to make this too long on just showing you about the mod. So they do build a lot of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install it. Um, I need to clean out my jar and everything so I can cleanly show you how to install it. So I will be back. Alright, so I refreshed my jar and everything and I'll show you how to install it now. Now before I show you how to install it, I always forget to say this. Make sure you have a Minecraft, a dot .minecraft backup. Back up your Minecraft. Because if this crashes, there is an easy way to fix it, but um, it's always still good to have a backup. So let me go ahead and show you how to install this now. Go ahead and go to start. Um, if you have Windows 7, you could just type in uh, percent app data percent into uh, this little search bar. But if you don't have Windows 7, then just type in run and then open up run. Then type in percent app data percent into there. I just hit OK. And it'll open up your roaming. Alright, so now we're going to go into Minecraft, the dot Minecraft. Um, you do need WinRAR or some sort of archiving program for this. And then we're going to go into the bin. And we're going to go towards just the Minecraft executable jar file. This one right here. Left click it. And this is why you're gonna need um, this is why you're gonna need WinRAR. Open with WinRAR Ar Archiver. Okay, so now we have this. Just put it right here. All right, now first we're gonna install Spawn List. So you need Spawn List, Mod Loader, and then the mod. So now we have Spawn List open. This is all you have to do for Spawn List. Take this class and drag it into these classes. Hit OK. Now you're done with spawn list. Put it into Minecraft Mods, Mod Loader, drag it over here. Highlight all these classes and drag it into these. Hit OK. Close that. You're done with Mod Loader. Now for Builders. You can see it says input into bin, input into, do into jar. We already have the jar open, so we're going to go ahead and do that first. So do that. Over here, open up mob, and then open up mob on this one. Uh, click on the first one, hold shift, scroll down, and then click on the last, and drag those in. Hit OK. Now you hit up, then hit up on this one, and now you highlight all these classes and drag them into these classes. Hit OK. Now hit up again and up. We don't need this anymore so we can close it. Um, now we're back into the Minecraft or the dot Minecraft and now we do input into bin. So we just go into bin. Now we open up into input into bin and just take this and drag it into the bin and that is it you're done um, one more thing before I forgot to tell you this but open with WinRAR in in the uh, minecraft jar if you see a folder called uh, like M M E T A dash I N F it's like meta inf it'll be all capital delete that folder that will stop that will prevent the mods from working so if you see that folder in here delete it and then you'll be fine so that is it um, it's pretty easy like I said it's kinda cool sometimes it can be annoying um, if you don't want your world to be like completely littered with a whole bunch of random buildings just create a new world and mess with it on there so yeah that is it and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.